Hello and welcome to the Official Watchers YouTube channel here at Jardin du Mayfair, heaven on earth for the watch enthusiast. Today I have something very special for you, but as you can probably tell, it's not here at this exact time. The client who collected the piece was understandably so excited to get it that I had the watch in hand for less than one hour. So I filmed it and we can show it to you. It is none other than the Rolex Day Date 12 235 puzzle dial. It must be said that when Rolex ever goes into party mode, which it does on rare occasion, the result is as satisfying as first hearing your gran say a rude word. You don't ever think it'll happen, but when it does, it's a delightful shock. Now I think that sums up this particular day date, which is the stalwart line of the brand and usually associated with refined moderation and gravitas. Rolex have thrown all of that famous conservatism out of the window in favour of producing a multicoloured, fully enamelled party piece, which instead of displaying the day, or indeed the date, is a riot of uplifting slogans and emojis, such as love, faith and gratitude replacing the day, while hearts, rainbows, ladybirds and kisses replaces the date. There's even a panda in there for good measure. It is clearly a piece that is designed with whimsy in mind, and while it may offend some Rolex fans to their very core, it has proven to be an absolute smash hit, to the point that it may as well have been made from unobtainium rather than rose gold. Now there are two variants of the puzzle or emoji as they are known, one in white gold with a turquoise base dial, and this in ever rose gold and orange variant. There are actually three variants of the puzzle and we are hoping to get the white gold soon. So when that comes, I'll do a much better video and overview of it, but I couldn't let this one go without at least showing you. This is a 36 millimeter piece. So the size is traditional as is the case and bracelet, which have stats of 12 millimeters in height, 43 millimeters lug to lug, 20 millimeters of lug width and 100 meters of water resistance that we've all come to know and love. Now I can't really claim it looks like any other day date from a distance because the enameling on this piece can be spotted from orbit. Rolex have used an ancient and now rather uncommon champlieve enameling technique for the dial, which is split into vibrant coloured puzzle pieces covering around three quarters of the surface. With champlieve, French for raised field, troughs and cavities are carefully carved into the metal base and then filled with enamel until flush with the raised parts of the metal. This is the opposite of the regularly seen cloison technique, which works by soldering wires on top of the base and then filling the space between the wires. In short, with Champlieve, you dig down and fill. With Cloison, you build up and fill. Dial enameling is a difficult method to master as the enamel cools at a faster rate than metal, so can be prone to cracking. This is why enamel dials are both low in production and favored by collectors. The indices add a final sparkling touch from baguette cut multicolored sapphires. The watch is powered by Rolex's in-house Calibre 3255, which offers a 72-hour power reserve. The Rolex puzzle is a statement watch, and while it has its detractors who complain of it catering to social media or being terribly over the top and generally just being appalled at its very existence, it is nonetheless an exhibition of Rolex-style prowess combined with a grin from the crown. And as a watch aficionado, I absolutely love when Rolex puts its might into something so preposterous, yet utterly endearing. So it's a 10 out of 10 from this humble watch reviewer. The price of this watch is £195,000. Now, it's extremely rare. It's extremely hard to find. The only other people I've seen with one so far are Tom Brady, Kevin Hart, and myself. So we're in good company.